head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's not talk about that one, yes. <laughs> So here is my first reaction to ev every to, to, to anything really. I've never reacted to anything on a YouTube video. Here is my reaction to Pool Party, to Leah Skin, and also I thank uh, Skin Spotlight for this uh, for this little video. I really hope it's okay that I'm using it. So I'm going in this in this little part, a little bit before the actual video to react to it, and I've seen it already. I believe it's very nice. I really like the what the job the skin team did. I really, really hoped, however, as I vouched, as I said my opinion over the years, that it would be nice to be less blue than it is. But I guess, I guess that's what we got and I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna enjoy it and mostly I mean, probably will buy it if they really OTP the champion like me, so I guess, I guess let's react to it. So, uh, the, the recall, the recall is beautiful with the animation that it's, you surf around and jump, so I kinda like it. And the model, the model is actually pretty beautiful because it's not blue, it's not completely blue, so I really enjoyed the fact that they went for this yellowish. So it kind of combines the base skin and the other skin. So this splash is amazing compared to the others, I believe is the best one yet. Plus both Soriana and Talia here look amazing. The surfboard that you can see on the passive, it's maybe... The second best thing after the ult, we're going to get to the ult as well, so I guess this is worth This, the passive and the ult probably make the price of the skin, I mean I would buy only for those Also the W because it's kinda beautiful The auto attack animation is decent, I really hope it doesn't feel clunky to use on lane The coral, corals around that you throw, so when you, when you cast big Q you have these pellets around you I believe these are pretty beautiful and it gives you a feeling of actually throwing them, not just having some small pellets around. Because if you play without a skin, it's kind of ah. And yeah, I believe I like that. The W, however, the W is amazing. I really like this design of both the the initial spawn and also the rocky thingish coral whatever jumps. The E is kind of eh. I believe this is the ability that I don't like personally most. I believe there could be more options on this one and the cube is decent but W and ultimate are the best also I really like how they trigger the W and E and the ultimate we're going to get right now the ultimate is the amazing part really and I really hope we're going to see the circles when we walk on them because I'm not sure if the if they are very visible but we're just going to see that when the skin is over I'm going to instantly buy it when it's available also the ultimate the most beautiful part, you have a wave and you can actually ride the wave with your surfboard which is surfing, basically real surfing on water, <laughs> so I guess it's a pretty amazing as you can see here, the particles are nice, they're really... I, and you leave a coral behind sort of, I, I think it's amazing really compared to the other ability, this is S tier skin right here with this part. Now, I say that the, the abilities are not blue, but I guess real Talia means you'll accept it anyway. And let's see what else we got. Uh, a crit animation, I don't... Please don't. Please don't play crit Talia. <laughs> please don't. And after that, uh, we have the... Uh, the Chromos, I believe the middle one is the most non-blue-like. Also, maybe, 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 maybe the one on the right. I'm not sure which one I leave and pick. I'll probably pick multiple and switch between them. But yeah, they are beautiful as well, so I think the skin overall, it's worked on. The, the only, I, I don't like the, only the fact that the decision was to be pool party, to be blue in general. I mean, it's a beautiful thing, it's a be beautifully done, but I think Talia already had too much blue, so I guess I'm trying to be honest here. I guess everyone has this feeling, right? But the particles are quite good and everyone will probably buy it, which really like players would really like Talia. So this is my reaction to it, I really hope you enjoy it and let's jump into the video guys. Hello everyone, my name is Tomat and today we're going to do a Talia support guide in flex and we're going to play against some diamonds, they have some in their team. I generally don't play in solo queue on a Rob Norican Eastern Grandmaster support unless I'm autofilled and I'm very rarely autofilled and that's actually... yeah. I can't really play permanently and make guides under lanes that I'm autofilled to or I can't intentionally swap to those lanes like 
I cannot pick up Tilia's support in ranked and hope to do fine in Grandmaster and Rope Lord against. So I believe going flex is a bit, it's a decent option so that I don't really troll that much in that Tilo so I don't, don't lose randomly. Also, this week we'll have another video in Grandmaster with Pantheon or Tilia. We're going to see which one and we're going to do a guide there as well. But for today, we're going to do a Tilia support guide in uh, flex featuring Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Presence of Mind, Cap the Grace and his rune stats. We're going to play with the AP Jungle item, GLP, uh, AP Support item, sorry, GLP, Sork Shoes. We're going to get Vision Words and Red Trinket when we get the Word item and we're going to try to destroy this Senna Maokai lane. The probably fasting Senna if I'd known for sure. But yeah, we're going to have lots of poke on them and I don't care that sword because we see them there. And we're going to have to deal with this kind of, I'd say, A, a tier or maybe S tier because it's very good. But also I have a, a Ziggs which will in turn mean that we're going to poke them a lot. So I have to uh, help, help Ziggs, 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 Ziggs. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is not dying, right? No. Oh, my boy, <laughs> my boy throwing that right there. All right, so he has heal, so that's why I'm playing so aggressively. And you can see I'm kiting pretty, pretty decent, oops. All right, get her down, get her down, boy. Oops, back off, back off, back off. Heal, heal. Okay, back off. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. His Zix still has flash, so I'm gonna ping him to combat because it's a free kill for us, and no one has flash here besides Zix. Oh boy! Free kill. Free kill. Nice. And level one Mokai. You should be fine. Honestly, you should be fine. And I want to fight. I really do. So we can do another word here. And we can actually try to zone them a bit. Agar, got her, got her, got her, got her, got her, got her, got her. Go, 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 go. Get her, get her. I don't care that Lee Sin comes. He can come. He can come, he can come. I'm going there to check for Lee. Because if he's doing Drake, then... Yep. And we got the free kill Lee Sin. <laughs> oh no! Switch focus to the guy, please! Six! Six! No, <laughs> why are you so slow? Man! That was a free trick there if you wouldn't be AFKing on lane, if he had a bit of map awareness. But still, it's fine. I saved the Drake, I got the kill on their jungler. How many supports do that? I, at this point, I could just take the long routes around and I could just help him there all right he wants to jump on Ziggs so you gotta be careful I'm gonna yeah he had heals he's fine I, I was going to try to steal the kill just because just because I didn't want Ziggs to die so 5-0 Ziggs even though yeah I, I'm doing fine right even though I died a bit, it's not really a problem. My job here now is to actually cast W onto the Lee Sin after we get... Before we get the Drake. <laughs> Alright, so we got this. Don't, 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 don't go further. Man, no, you're going to die. Why did he stay there? Although he lived. <laughs> That's tilting. Definitely tilting. I'm here now, so it's fine. And I think we get her. Yep. Gonna cast ult so that I push him towards the Ziggs. And <laughs> yeah, we got him. That that was an ult play there. And I'm going back. Uh, I see Lee Sin is, is dead, so we can just we can just push here. Because I see three of them are dead and two of them are on the top side. I don't care that I still farm. We need to fast push this so that we get plates. And we can we can get this as much as we want. So we now we are now doing, doing exactly 
fine and we can get one more plate here and then back off and he will not reach it he recalled so fast man i don't and probably he got full comboed and this time he didn't have flash probably flash from maokai if i were to guess and i'm just gonna just gonna stick around here All right, we got the heal. Got the kill on that. I'm backing off. Trying to go away from the. Oh my god. That's yeah, fine. It's still good. <laughs> he flashed into that. Yeah, we can get get the tower now. But Hecarim <laughs> on that fight. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> he had a free gang bot. He still has a free gang bot. I have to ping it for you, buddy. It's not normal. I really, it's not not normal at all. You have a Ziggs, a fed Ziggs. He can instantly kill their Senna, and he just did. And you decide to AFK recall here. Okay, that's not okay. I'm coming. Uh, okay, so it is okay after all. I also catching that guy. I want Ziggs to take him, that's why I, I stood so long, that's why I stayed like that, I really wanted Ziggs to take him, I see that, oh no, I'm not gonna miss that one, alright, Senna ulted, I've seen the Senna ult, and now I'm just helping him, I'm pushing towards the tower, I'm pushing to, right into the tower so that, so that we don't lose any experience, and I'm coming here and I'm starting to full push this. And to try to get the tower, we're probably getting the tower as close as we can. And look at that! Instant one shot on their freaking ADC. 4 7. Zig is 10 2, I'm 5 4. We don't see Lissin, we see Lissin now. I'm gonna word here so that it's not that obvious that I'm coming. But it doesn't know about the Hecarim that's there. Help. Alright, this guy into it as well. And look how simple it is after a certain point. We just we just roll them over. Even though Hecarim had thousands of opportunities and he didn't take them, we still we still roll be rolling them over. Wait. What? You missed chain? I think that all that passive say, hey, saves him, but he missed chain there. <laughs> and I'm backing off. And look at that! Solo killing their freaking top laner, which is 0 6, by the way. So, yeah, that's why I'm solo killing her, because I'm way more fed than her. But it's fine, we're destroying this game. So, 18 kills out of 29 on bot. One more. And Senna surprised me there, I don't deny it. And we got the kill on Senna. One on Maokai, they are fully tilted at this point. Shen had ult by the way the whole time. <sighs> I don't, <laughs> I'm tilted. He could. I have 700 gold. Ziggs has 500, he could at least ult there. More. Oh boy, they are fighting. I, I was just trolling there. Right, got the Senna. Yeah, I trolled that one a bit because I was reading. How much damage do I have? 130, 170. Why is it. Why is it so few damage compared to this? Because this one is the same kind of. 170, 170. Yeah, because she's one level ahead. <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's not talk about that one yes <laughs> and she got the kill I'll just end it nice now let's just end it there 
Healing up Ravenous Hunter does a lot. Probably. Kite, kite, kite. What? Okay. Okay. Still fine. That went well. Yasuo is coming. Lissin is coming. Oh boy. I need to dodge that. I don't know. Alright. Still no Shenault, by the way. Jump! Why not? That... <laughs> what is that Fiora doing? <laughs> Shen? Do your job, Shen? Why is Lissin not jumping on me? Well, could have. Oops. Got damaged by something. Because that didn't work right for some reason. Alright. Oops. I'm fine. I'm alive. Very fed, but alive. At this point, we're just chasing kills. Which is fun, but it's not the optimal way to play. Also now I have the same level, so I deal 90, 20, 100, somewhere there, yeah, 200, 20, 100, my, Jesus, my English is insane. Come on. Yep. Whoa, man, one more second there. Yes, yeah, so it's going to come, so I got to back off. I'm thinking she's trolling at this point. Because that was dumb. Shen didn't do the ult, by the way. He still, still has to cast ult. He's trolling as well with that. Alright, we lost Drake. At least we get the kill on that. I dodged that, nice. I think I should have just get hit by it. <laughs> Got a kill with GLP. 30 kills participation, man. Oh boy, that's enough. Poor, poor Fiora, man. Alright, let's end this game, because it's a fiesta. But the scaling on that, man, I have 30 stacks of Dark Hearts almost in 23 minutes. It's like Orf, but better. A jump, why not? Wow. I died, more people might die, but we still win the game, so don't care much about it. LeBlanc is AFKing there with all tap. She could have one shot at someone. I don't want to be rude, but instantly we, we know that they are about to wear this. Kill him before he actually deals his damage. Right, so we finally end this. Right, and Lissin is going to. Oh, we got him. Not sure what games <laughs> some of them are playing, but <laughs> I think yes, we still did. He's the only one with a positive, strong score with a good level. He's the highest level in the game there, yeah, so which is funnier. But we got this, we got again. A full fight, 32 stacks in 25 minutes, man, that's insane. Plus the advantage of resetting that, so, yeah. <laughs> One more kill, what? Why do you get damaged there? It wasn't even... That was the game, guys. Thanks for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this. See you next time, and goodbye.